Hey guys, what's up? This is Eli from Touch Arcade. I'm here with Jared, and today we're checking out Cloud Spin. Um, it's an Unreal Engine game. We already have a review up on the site. I think we gave it four and a half stars, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. This is the uh, first time that I've put any time into it, though, so like, it might look kind of stupid playing it. Uh, that's a caveat with all of our TA plays, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it really is. So these graphics just look like bananas, I think. Whoa. Is this Jazz Jackrabbit? Swipe anywhere on the screen to move. All right, digging these controls. This is pretty neat. So you're swiping to move? Place it's not on like a, a filter. Second finger. No, I'm 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 touching to move, and now I have uh, a second finger on the screen to speed like, up. Oh, cool. Whoa, this is crazy. Look at this world. Fly close to surfaces for near miss points. All right. Interesting. These coins. Uh oh, now what? Now Did that just happened on its own. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Crazy. This is neat. Yeah, this uh, uh, from the videos and stuff, I got like a heavy pilot wings kind of vibe. Yeah, but um, it it definitely kind of has that vibe, and the uh, I don't really know yet what difference it makes if I'm sped up or if you just kind of. Oh, not so Whoa! I guess it's just if you want to, maybe. These are, this is this is getting tricky now. Are you so you're just on like a set course, right? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a, a rails. It feels kind of like you know like Panzer Dragoon and stuff like that. Uh -huh. In that like you know you're flying, but you can kind of you know diddle around with the uh, with the screen to control what you would control with like your D-pad in that game. Yeah, I really dig all the little um, like elements and stuff like that in this game. Like you know trains going by. Yeah. Planes flying around. Lots of really cool details. It's a Unreal Engine game. Yeah, yeah. This is really neat. Oh, I died. Oh. Give this another go. I guess maybe, maybe he's more like Pepe O'Hare. Yeah, Pepe O'Hare gets a uh, a rocket pack and some wings. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. This is neat, though. I like games with all these like little touches, like the that little weird little like, you know, like these uh, windmill things and stuff like that. It was cool. And I think uh, I think I remember in the review it said something like, "There's like a free flying mode that you can unlock or something like that," and uh, that sounds pretty cool just to fly around and explore this crazy world you're in. The, the one thing I would say is kind of tricky about this so far, and, and I, I'm getting better at it as I play, but um, like when your dude goes over to like the side, like when I'm on the extreme right or left side, it's hard mm -hmm. to get, an, like like when I go through this, it's hard to get kind oh, of an idea of... Gauge where you're at? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Chasing some stars. So when you... Uh, when you go into your boost mode, it actually like locks your direction. So like, if I wanted to like go through this, like boost, and then oh okay, I can't I can't move while boosting. And did you see that there was a star on the bottom of that blimp that you could have got? I think. Yeah, the stars go towards my score. I got, oh like, okay. A, like a thousand points or something like that for them. Wow, this game's really cool. Yeah. There we go. See, I picked that one up. Oh okay. Right. This is kind of where I, this. Uh, I think this hallway here is where I died last time. Yeah, all these. Oh yeah. So I basically just need to go to the bomb and boost through it. That was the mistake I made last time. Man, this is nuts. I'm going straight down now. <laughs> I wonder how long this little course goes on for. Yeah, I don't know. Fireworks. This. Uh... Ooh. This is, go, neat. this is really cool. I uh, I wish this game was on iPhone. It's an iPad only game. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe they felt like it was too like pretty of a game to shrink down or something. But so that was the Cloud Highway, and this is Devil's Climb. Intimidating name. I'm kind of curious if these are 
Now, if we're flying around in what essentially amounts to the same level, but with different paths, or if they're yeah. reusing the set pieces to do it, because like, I mean, you like this like weird like pillar hallway thing. I feel like we've yeah. seen. I would imagine that they probably, you know, have a few different worlds, and then each of those worlds has a bunch of different paths to create different tracks. You know, that's like what a typical racing game would do. So yeah. is really cool. No real complaints aside from the fact that like it's just difficult to judge like where the sides of your mm -hmm. little thing are. But you know, again, I imagine that will just come with time. I think uh, I think one of the the um, you know negatives in in our review of it was that it was short, if I remember mm -hmm. right, too. So I guess there's always that to consider, but. I don't know. I never really worry about game length that much because I'd rather play like a really great game for an hour than play like a just okay game for like a hundred hours. No, know? dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally on the same page. And you know, like, it's always, it always kind of drives me crazy when, when people ask or, or you know, like, try to make a point of the fact that you know, like, the game only has like, oh, you can beat an hour. Yeah. But you know, I'm, I'm the exact same way. And, and people complain, you know, like, the Call of Duty campaign is too short or whatever else. Yeah. But like, like, man. I, I will take a very short, excellent game over a long and just okay game any day yeah. of the week. Exactly. And there's a lot to be said, like, especially on on iPhone, where there's so many good games that there's... I can appreciate a game that I can just play and beat and be like, that was a very satisfying experience. And then move on to the other things I have or even go back at a later time and replay that short game just because it was so good, you know? Yeah, totally. Like, because I don't have 100 hours to dump into, like, every RPG that comes out or anything, you know? Right. I wish I did. I know, right? But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Nice. You're doing pretty good, buddy. Yeah, dude. All right, so let's do one more level, maybe. All right. All right, here, let's, let's take a look at how many more levels there are. Oh, you're locked. locked. All right, so we did, we did the first like, one, second one. So there's a third one. Now oh, the third one looks awesome. Seven Four, levels. Five, it looks like. six, seven levels total. And you know, granted, I'm only I'm getting through these, but I'm only getting the bronze medal. So like, if you're like Whoa. kind of a completionist person, yeah, yeah, you're gonna go back and replay those levels anyway. Yeah, dude, this is tight. This looks like uh, the casino levels from Sonic. Yeah. Right. This is so cool. Get these coins. I wonder if to get gold, if you have to get all of the coins. That'd be tricky. Probably. I like when games are like like that. You know, like you got to get everything, buddy, if you want this gold. Got to work for it. That's what always kind of drives me nuts about games like Angry Birds, where it's just like, I'm not really sure what I did. I don't even know what score I needed, but I got gold, or you know, I got three stars. Yeah, I always kind of wish that Angry Birds like. Um, the actually the most useful thing that I ever got out of those like various like Angry Birds like solution videos was just like mm. figuring out like the score threshold that you need. Right. Yeah. Because that was always so irritating when you're like, dude, I, I destroyed everything. I feel like I did really good, and I have like two birds left, and it's like, no, yeah. sorry, two stars. Right. And you're like, what else can I possibly do? Right. Whoa, this is so insane. It's, kind of, it's like it's like if you combine Tron with the Sonic Casino levels. Yeah, or like Space Mountain or something. It's silly that you're playing like a, a rabbit with a jackpot or a, uh, a jetpack too. I guess that so, is kind of silly now that I think about it. It's like why why a rabbit? Oh, that was really close. This is this is I'm. I feel like I'm making this look easier than it actually is. <laughs> oh, don't pat yourself on the back too hard. No, no, I mean, because, like, this is this is actually, like, I'm, I'm sitting here, like, oh, you know, like, like moving in my seat because I'm just, like, yeah. barely missing. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good, stuff. though, especially for, like, your first run through these levels or playing this game at all, really. You can. It's because I'm wearing my gunner gaming glasses. Oh, okay. Those help. Um, yeah, so here we go. Hot on the trail of the completion Fly ring. into the dragon's mouth. Kaboom. So sick. Um, yeah, so you have a jetpack on, and I, I'm pretty sure from the review, it said the free flight mode or whatever. You have like wings, and it actually controls oh, more hey, like. I just unlocked free flight mode. So oh, let's go, let's check, go, go check that out. Yeah, I, I guess it controls more like when you have the wing cap in Mario 64. You know how you had to kind of like 
dive up and oh, down so to build your momentum. This is kind of neat. So, like, look, the second ones we need to find presence in the uh, in oh, okay, these to so unlock. There's... So there's 15 available, and I need five to unlock free flight mode in the next one. Okay. So let's let's see how this all goes together. Whoa, this is rad. This is like very pilot wingsy right here. Oh, where's my jetpack? Yeah, see, now you have wings. So I'm pretty sure you have to like swoop down and swoop back up to build your momentum up to, uh, you know, keep flying or whatever. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. Man, this, without my jetpack, my controls are uh, real slow. Oh man. Really? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is just like the, this is just like uh, pilot wings. You got a little fan boost. I'm gonna do real bad here. Uh, 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 Don't hit uh, that rock. Uh. <laughs> like you have to swipe like mad. Like like the other one, you're you're going so fast that like like just very minor movements. Let's see if I can get this. Oh no, coming in too short. Whoa. This, this all right? So really so, tricky. so this is awesome. Like I almost think this is the better game mode. Really? Because like I always thought that was so cool how in like pilot wings you uh, had to you know like manage your manage your flight in a way that like you don't like because like right now when I'm diving down like it's really hard to control like I'm trying yeah. to pull up but I just like can't really yeah see, there you go <laughs> man that cra those crashes need more splatter more bunny splatter so yeah this is uh, this is cloud spin really cool game um, you know if you like what you saw definitely check it out. Uh, check out our review, which I'll, you know, if you uh, look at the actual TA Plays post on Touch Arcade, I'll, I'll link it. Or just check the uh, the little YouTube uh, more info thing. There'll be a link there, too. So, uh, yeah, check it out.